Hi, my name is João Reis, and in this video, I will present Tesla, an intermediate presentation of static analysis of Michelson smart contracts. We will start this presentation with a brief introduction and contextualization to this work, following with a description of the Tesla intermediate representation and how do we obtain it. We then follow with a study case where we use this intermediate representation to develop a static analysis. And finally, conclude with some closing remarks about this work and how it relates to other works. There have been reports of bugs in smart contracts that led to losses of millions of dollars worth of assets. Smart contracts are programs embedded in a blockchain transaction. As such, smart contracts can't be updated or patched, as transactions in a blockchain should be immutable. With this, there has been an increasing interest in providing tools and mechanisms that guarantee or potentiate the correctness of smart contracts. The Tezos blockchain smart contract language is Michelson, a stack-based language. Current tools and algorithms for program verification that are based, for example, on detective verification and static analysis are usually designed for classical store-based languages. As such, to facilitate the usage of such tools to verify Michelson smart contracts, we present Tesla, a store-based intermediate representation language for Michelson. Tesla is an intermediate representation of Michelson code that uses a store instead of a stack that is designed and implemented in a way that aims to preserve the semantics, flow and resource usage, in particular gas consumption, and enforces the static single assignment form, which allows us to obtain data flow information in a way that simplifies analysis and code optimization. Tesla is designed to have a tight integration with the Michelson code to be executed, not as a language that compiles to it, nor as a high-level language that uses the writing of Michelson smart contracts. Tesla adapts the Michelson syntax and semantics to embrace the store mechanism. Push-like instructions are transformed into variable assignments of those instructions. In this example, each push instruction that creates one stack value is converted to a one variable assignment. Mikasan instructions that consume stack variables are translated to an expression that consumes those values. For example, the add instruction that consumes two values from the stack is translated to an expression that consumes the variables that match those stack values. To deal with branching, the Tesla representation makes use of five functions that select between two values depending on the branch. These are used when in both branches exist stack values that are created or modified which are later consumed outside the branches. In the example, the last counts instruction of each branch creates a value that is later consumed outside the branches. That value is then defined through the use of a five function. Notice that we introduce some special functions in the example head and tail. These functions exist to, to explicitly replicate the behavior of the original if cons instruction, which tests if the top value of the stack is a non-empty list and deconstructs the list in the true branch by placing at the top of the stack the head of the list followed by its tail. To deal with the option and hard types, similar functions were introduced and they are called unlift functions. In this example, it is also possible to observe that we maintain in the Tesla representation the swap instruction, although its only purpose is to rearrange stack values. In the Tesla semantics that disregards gas consumption, this is a no-op instruction. However, the instruction has effect in the gas consumption and we maintain such instructions in our representation in order to faithfully reconstruct the gas consumption of the original Mikasson code. Loop-like instructions are translated in a similar fashion to branching instructions, through the use of five functions, head, tail, and then leaf expressions. The initial stack of every Mikasson smart contract contains a single value, which is a pair composed of the parameter and the storage of the contract. As such, we introduce a special variable called parameter storage that represents this pair. Also, every Michelson smart contract must have a final stack containing a single element, which is a pair of a list of internal operations emitted by the contract and the new storage. We make use of a return function to explicitly declare which variable contains such pair, list of internal operations emitted by the contract and the new storage. 
we make use of a return function to explicitly declare which variable contains such pair. To demonstrate the applicability of Tesla, we now present how we can build static analysis upon a generic data flow analysis platform called SoftCheck. SoftCheck provides an intermediate representation called SEAL, which is rich enough to express high-level as well as low-level imperative programming constructs and is simple enough to be adequately translated into CFGs. SoftCheck is organized upon a generic monotone framework that is able to extract a set of data flow equations from 1. a suitable representation of programs and 2. a set of monotone functions and then to solve them. The procedure to create an analysis using SoftCheck and Tesla is as follows. We create an instance of SEAL for Tesla. Then we also implement a module that defines the desired analysis. Finally, we provide both the Tesla SEAL instance and the analysis module to the platform alongside with the Tesla represent a smart contract in order to run the analysis over that smart contract. At this point, we can develop different analyses using Tesla and SoftCheck. Our case study proceeds with the development of an example simple sign detection analysis for demonstration purposes. This analysis can evaluate the sign values present on this lattice. The value top represents a situation where the analysis is not able to determine a concrete value and the value bottom represents a non-numerical value. Here we have a simple smart contract example that multiplies the parameter by minus 5 if it's equal to 0 or by minus 2 otherwise and stores the result in the storage. We also have its Tesla representation that translates to the following CFG. Running a simple sign detection analysis on this example, we were able to detect that the sign values of type NUTS are, by definition, always zero or positive. After block zero, we have that V0 sign value is zero or positive, because V0 gets its value from the parameter, which is a net. We could design an analysis that refines the sign values on conditional branches according to the test. In this example, we can observe that in blocks 6 and 7, the true branch, the sign values of V1 must be 0, as the test corresponds to 0 equals V1. We could also conclude from the result of the analysis that block 17, the true branch of the conditional, will never be carried out, as V11 has a sign value of 0 minus, and the test is V11 greater than 0, which will always result set false. Tesla and all the tooling and interfacing with SoftCheck was implemented in Okamo. In order to conduct an experimental test, we tested a total of 163 smart contracts, successfully converting all of them to Tesla. We ran the sign detection analysis on those smart contracts, obtaining the following benchmarks. From these benchmarks, we can conclude that we were able to successfully obtain the analysis results of every smart contract within the time limit of 10 seconds for each contract. Related to this work, there are several high-level languages that target Michelson. However, a program analysis tool that would target one of these languages should not be easily reusable to programs written in the other languages. Furthermore, it is not possible to define a gas consumption analysis using these high-level languages without looking at the compiled Michelson code, as gas consumption is defined at the Michelson level. There are also some contributions about intermediate representations for smart contract verification and analysis. Scylla is an intermediate language that aims to serve as a basis representation for program analysis and verification of smart contracts. We feel that Tesla is at a different level than Scylla, as we could use a different Tesla representation for, to be a mid step between having a SEAL representation and the Michelson code. Slither is a static analysis framework for Ethereum smart contract that introduces an intermediate representation that tests some common characteristics with our work. Specifically, it facilitates the implementation of static analysis and enforces an SSA form. However, the authors claim that this representation is not able to faithfully model the gas consumption information which is something we defined as a key point and took into account when designing Tesla. 
Solidifier is a bonded model checker for Ethereum smart contracts that converts the original code to a formalization of Solidity that runs on its own execution environment. In this work, the authors say that they coercely approximate gas consumption. As we said before, one of our goals is to be able to faithfully recreate the original gas consumption on our intermediate representation. To conclude with some final remarks, this is the first work towards a static analysis platform for Tesla smart contracts. Tesla positions itself as an intermediate representation that is designed and structured so that it aims to ease the adoption and development of static analysis tool while maintaining the semantics of the original code. We demonstrate its applicability through a case study of integrating this intermediate representation of the subject in order to develop a simple sign detection analysis. As future work, we plan to formally demonstrate that Tesla semantics are equivalent in respect to Mikasa's semantics, including gas consumption. We also plan to identify smart contract problems and properties that should be subject of study and develop analysis that identify those problems and extract such properties. We also want to integrate Tesla with different static analysis tools so that we can broaden the number of possible properties and types of analysis. With this, I end this presentation and thank you all for your kind attention. You are encouraged to contact us with questions or suggestions through the email addresses on the first slide.